hands. Daka and his Jap spies learn of a new secret airplane. They succeed in stealing it, but the plane is Batman. Okay, I'll attend to it at once. Zone 14. Battery commander. Captain Wales speaking. There's a stolen plane over your section. Bring it down at once. Useless. I cannot contact them again. The Batman must have overpowered those mechanics. Section one. Section 50 reporting. Go ahead. Lockwood test plane just crashed near Edgeworth. Two bodies found in wreckage. Who were they? Mechanics from the Lockwood factory. That means the Batman is at large again. But before long, I will make him regret his interference. Hadn't you better contact the submarine and tell them? Dr. Dacker calling Captain Curie, submarine 918. Dr. Dacker calling, submarine 918. Banzai, Prince Dacker. Banzai, Captain Curie. Lockwood plane crashed, cannot be delivered. Too bad. Plan failed. I will find another way. But please do hurry. These waters very dangerous for Nipponese submarines. Enemy destroyers close by. To save time, we will endeavor to secure blueprint of Lockwood motor instead of waiting till Yankees build the new one. Banzai. Banzai. <laughs> Heaven knows where they are, miss. Mr. Wayne's been considering a trip for his health for a long time. They may have gone either to the, uh, to the beach, or, or to the desert, or, or, um, or uh, even Mexico City, or um, maybe South America. Uh, or uh, possibly trying to find out who the Batman is. Oh, oh yes, miss. Uh, I mean, no, miss. Dear, it's too bad they had to leave just when I needed him so badly. Linda, darling, let me hear you say that again, that you need me. <laughs> oh, Bruce, you're impossible. Hello, Dick. Hello, Linda. Listen, the reason I came was to tell you that Ken Colton's in town. He telephoned me and wants to get in touch with Uncle Martin. What does he want with him? Uncle Martin grub-staked him to a mine and he struck it rich. 
He wants to put the mine in both of their names. Did you tell him about your uncle? No. I told him to meet me at the apartment. I thought perhaps you might help me out. Of course I'll be there. I haven't seen Ken in a coon's age. Now, how about some tea? Oh, thanks, but I've got to get back to work. survivors. Another disaster due to the interference of the Batman. We can forget about the blueprints for the present. But there's one thing you must accomplish at once. Destroy the Batman. That's a great idea, but how? It is evident that he is interested in Miss Page. That may be, but I understand she likes a fellow named Bruce Wayne. You don't suppose this fellow Wayne and the Batman could be one and the same person? That'd be absurd. That simpering idiot could never be the Batman. We must find out about Miss Page, her habits, the people who come to visit her. Klein, you are an electrician. Go to Miss Page's apartment posing as a telephone repairman. Install a dictaphone. This is the address. Maybe now we can find out who the Batman really is. What sort of a mind have you, Mr. Colton? Radium. Yeah, and lots of it. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Linda. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Linda. Hello, Dick. Hello, Ken. How are you? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is my ward, Dick Grayson, Mr. Colton. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you, sir. Well, it's good to see you again, Ken. Where are you staying? The Longsworth Hotel? Yeah. Best is none too good for me now. <laughs> Come over here, you old desert rat, and tell me a few things. Say, what's this I hear about your finding a, a gold mine? Well, better than gold, Ken. <clears throat> Look. Looks like a piece of coal to me. Yeah, that's pitch blend. That's the mineral from which radium is extracted. And I've got millions of tons of this pitch blend in sight. On the last test I made, why, it showed a higher grade ore than any known deposit. Very interesting. But isn't it a rather expensive process to extract the radium from this, um, what did you call it? Pitch blend. Yeah. Oh, yes, but that doesn't matter as long as you know how little there is available and how badly more is needed. Mr. Colton seems to understand our problem. Where is your mind located, Mr. Colton? Don't tell anyone, not even us, until you've registered your claim. Uh, I can trust you folks. Hey, have you got a map of the state? Yes, I'll get you one. All right, that's fine. You know, you'll be surprised when you find out where this mine is located. I'll pick them up for you, Linda. Thank you. Here it is. Well, thanks. Yeah, I think this will show us where we want to go. Now, you see this road here? Leads right up here and branches off. The line went dead. Yes, just when we were about to learn the location of the mine. Preston, go to Colton's room, get there and get those papers before he has a chance to get back. Take Burke and Klein with you. Thanks for the lift. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Cole. Good night, sir. I didn't get a chance to tell you that now. When we were up in Linda's apartment, I found this microphone hidden under her desk. Well, somebody else beside us knows all about Colton and his mind. I tore the wires loose, but whoever was listening must have heard most of the conversation. I think the Batman and Robin had better keep an eye on Mr. Colton. Swell. Let's get into our outfit. Nothing here that looks like a chart or a map. Look through those pockets again. Someone at the door. Put your light out. I'll take care of him.
Let's get out of here. You all right? Yeah. Well, who are you? No time to explain now. Come on. They'll be lost in the traffic before we can get started. We'll get back to Colton to see if he's hurt. You'll be all right now. You think you'll be able to identify any of the men? There's Doc. I didn't get a good look at him. I leave you a sedative in case you don't sleep well tonight. Evening, Mr. Wayne. What brings you here? I just heard from Captain Arnold that Mr. Colton had been attacked. Where they can. Oh, I suppose that bunch of claim jumpers that you warned me about. But they didn't get what they came for. We'll stay with him for a while. I'll see that Mr. Colton makes a full report of this tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Wayne. Good night. You won't have to wait long. I've sent for a male nurse to look after him. That's fine. We'll just stay till he gets here. You know, they failed, Ken. They'll try it again. I'll be ready for Mr. Wayne's residence. Who's calling, please? And Mr. Colton calling you, sir. Oh. Morning, Ken. How do you feel? But there's a fiddle full of news. Just heard from Martin Warren. On my way to meet him. Why don't you come and go with me? Where'd he tell you to meet him? Down at the old Atlas Smelter, Avenue D and 7th Street. Uh, he said he was a foreman there. Defense work, you know. Well, take my advice and stay where you are. It may be a trap. Don't forget those claim jumpers from last night. Ah, uh, yes, I know, but if this is really Martin, I don't want to miss him. Tell you what I'll do. I'll go over there and make sure it's Martin who called you. Yeah, everything is in order, then I'll phone you and you can come over then. Okay, Bruce. I'll be waiting for your call. Well, Alfred, your big moment has come. Oh, splendid, sir. You're going to pitch hit for Mr. Colton and keep his appointment for him. Me, sir? Oh, I, I hardly feel I can do it, sir. I, uh, I'm not feeling very top hole this morning. You get the makeup kit. I'm certain he can look more like Colton than Colton does himself. Keep the change, my good man. Well, there's no one around. Let's go. Mr. Colton, but your friend Warren hasn't arrived yet. Oh. Oh, oh well, I, I don't mind waiting a little. Uh, oh, fine, fine. Nice little plant we have here. It should interest you. Not very large, but with our method of processing. Oh, oh, oh careful, careful. <laughs> don't trip into that vat. The chemical in there would leave no trace of you if you did. Oh. You see? Oh. And now, Mr. Colton, uh, where is your mine located? Mine? What mine? Uh, well, you see, I, I'm afraid I can't, uh, I can't. Why should I tell you? The boys didn't finish with you last night. If they begin on you again, you'll be ready for the morgue. See if you can persuade Mr. Colton to answer my question. Are you going to talk? Are you going to tell us where that mine is? No. Well, maybe a yank on this will change your mind. Oh, oh. Well, before that chemical reaches these wires.
Nurse Fletcher, Docker's lieutenant, posing as a doctor to trap Colton. Will the Jap spy force Colton to reveal the location of the radium mine? And there's Robin on the job. Will he find his match in Dhaka at last? Don't fail to see The Phony Doctor, Chapter 7 of Batman at this time.